This is the Justice and Kindness Daily Scripture Reading for July 12th, New American Standard Version. Go to glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. Joshua chapters 16 and 17. Then the lot of the sons of Joseph went from the Jordan at Jericho to the waters of Jericho on the east into the wilderness, going up from Jericho through the hill country to Bethel. It went from Bethel to Luz and continued to the border of the Archites at Adaroth. It went down westward to the territory of the Japhelites as far as the country of lower Beth Horon, even to Gezer, and it ended at the sea. The sons of Joseph, Manasseh and Ephraim, received their inheritance. Now this was the territory of the sons of Ephraim according to their families. The border of their inheritance eastward was Eratoth Adar, as far as upper Beth Horon. Then the border went westward at Michmathath on the north, and the border turned about eastward to Tanath Shiloh, and continued beyond it to the east of Janua. It went down from Janua to Adaroth and to Nera, then reached Jericho and came out at the Jordan. From Tapua to the border continued westward to the brook of Cana, and it ended at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the sons of Ephraim, according to their families, together with the cities which were set apart for the sons of Ephraim in the midst of the inheritance of the sons of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. But they did not drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer, so the Canaanites live in the midst of Ephraim to this day, and they became forced laborers. Now this was the lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph. To Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, were allotted Gilead and Bashan, because he was a man of war. So the lot was made for the rest of the sons of Manasseh according to their families. For the sons of Abiezer, and for the sons of Helek, and for the sons of Asriel, and for the sons of Shechem, and for the sons of Hefer, and for the sons of Shemadah. These were the male descendants of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, according to their families. However, Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, only daughters, and these are the names of his daughters. Mala and Noah, Hogla, Milcah, and Tirzah. They came near before Eleazar the priest and before Joshua the son of Nun and before the leaders, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brothers. So according to the command of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among their father's brothers. Thus there fell ten portions to Manasseh besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, which is beyond the Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance among his sons. And the land of Gilead belonged to the rest of the sons of Manasseh. The border of Manasseh ran from Asher to Michmathath, which was east of Shechem. Then the border went southward to the inhabitants of Intupa. The land of Tupa belonged to Manasseh, but Tupa on the border of Manasseh belonged to the sons of Ephraim. The border went down to the brook of Cana, southward of the brook. These cities belonged to Ephraim among the cities of Manasseh. And the border of Manasseh was on the north side of the brook, and it ended at the sea. The south side belonged to Ephraim, and the north side to Manasseh. And the sea was their border. And they reached to Asher on the north, and to Issachar on the east. In Issachar and in Asher, Manasseh had Bethshean and its towns, and Iblium and its towns and the inhabitants of Dor and its towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and its towns, and the inhabitants of Tanak and its towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its towns, the third is Naphith. But the sons of Manasseh could not take possession of these cities, because the Canaanites persisted in living in that land. It came about when the sons of Israel became strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but they did not drive them out completely. Then the sons of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given me only one lot and one portion for an inheritance, since I am a numerous people whom the Lord has thus far blessed? Joshua said to them, 
If you are a numerous people, go up to the forest and clear a place for yourself there in the land of the Perizzites and of Rephaim, since the hill country of Ephraim is too narrow for you. The sons of Joseph said, The hill country is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites who live in the valley land have chariots of iron, both those who are in Bethshean and its towns and those who are in the valley of Jezreel. Joshua spoke to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, You are a numerous people and have great power. You shall not have one lot only, but the hill country shall be yours. For though it is a forest, you shall clear it, and to its farthest borders it shall be yours. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, even though they have chariots of iron, and though they are strong. Psalm 148 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all stars of light. Praise Him, highest heavens and the waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created. He has also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which will not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea monsters in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and virgins, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, and he has lifted up a horn for his people. Praise for all his godly ones, even the sons of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 8 At that time, declares the Lord, they will bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of its princes, and the bones of its priests, and the bones of its prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem from their graves. They will spread them out to the sun, the moon, and all the host of heaven, which they have loved, and which they have served, and which they have gone after, and which they have sought, and which they have worshipped. They will not be gathered or buried. They will be as dung on the face of the ground, and death will be chosen rather than life by all the remnant that remains of this evil family, that remains in all the places to which I have driven them, declares the Lord of hosts. You shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, Do men fall and not get up again? Does one turn away and not repent? Why then has this people Jerusalem turned away in continual apostasy? They hold fast to deceit, they refuse to return. I have listened and heard, and they have spoken what is not right. No man repented of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his course like a horse charging into the battle. Even the stork in the sky knows her seasons, and the turtle dove and the swift and the thrush observe the time of their migration. But my people do not know the ordinance of the Lord. How can you say we are wise? and the law of the Lord is with us. But behold, the lying pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. The wise men are put to shame. They are dismayed and caught. Behold, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what kind of wisdom do they have? Therefore, I will give their wives to others, their fields to new owners, because from the least even to the greatest, everyone is greedy for gain. From the prophet even to the priest, everyone practices deceit. They heal the brokenness of the daughter of my people superficially, saying, Peace, peace, but there is no peace. Were they ashamed because of the abomination they had done? They certainly were not ashamed, and they did not know how to blush. Therefore, they shall fall among those who fall. At the time of their punishment, they shall be brought down, says the Lord. I will surely snatch them away, declares the Lord. There will be no grapes on the vine and no figs on the fig tree. 
and the leaf will wither, and what I have given them will pass away. Why are we sitting still? Assemble yourselves, and let us go into the fortified cities, and let us perish there, because the Lord our God has doomed us, and given us poisoned water to drink, for we have sinned against the Lord. We waited for peace, but no good came, for a time of healing, but behold, terror. From Dan is heard the snorting of his horses. At the sound of the neighing of his stallions, the whole land quakes, for they come and devour the land and its fullness, the city and its inhabitants. For behold, I am sending serpents among you, adders for which there is no charm, and they will bite you, declares the Lord. My sorrow is beyond healing. My heart is faint within me. Behold, listen, the cry of the daughter of my people from a distant land. Is the Lord not in Zion? Is her king not within her? Why have they provoked me with their graven images, with foreign idols? Harvest is past, summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the brokenness of the daughter of my people, I am broken. I mourn, dismay has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then has not the health of the daughter of my people been restored? Matthew chapter 22 Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. And he sent out his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding feast, and they were unwilling to come. Again, he sent out other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fattened livestock are all butchered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went their way. One to his own farm, another to his business, and the rest seized his slaves and mistreated them and killed them. But the king was enraged, and he sent his armies and destroyed those murderers and set their city on fire. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the main highways, and as many as you find there, invite to the wedding feast. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered together all they found, both evil and good, and the wedding hall was filled with dinner guests. But when the king came in to look over the dinner guests, he saw a man there who was not dressed in wedding clothes, and he said to him, Friend, how did you come in here without wedding clothes? And the man was speechless. Then the king said to his servants, Bind him hand and foot, and throw him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Then the Pharisees went and plotted together how they might trap him in what he said. And they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are truthful and teach the way of God in truth and defer to no one, for you are not partial to any. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to give a poll tax to Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their malice and said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the poll tax. And they brought him a denarius, and he said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Then render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And hearing this, they were amazed, and leaving him they went away. On that day some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and questioned him, asking, Teacher, Moses said if a man dies having no children, his brother as next of kin shall marry his wife and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers with us, and the first married and died, and having no children, left his wife to his brother. So also the second and the third down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife of the seven will she be? For they had all married her. But Jesus answered and said to them, You are mistaken, not understanding the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like the angels in heaven. But regarding the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was spoken to you by God? I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. 
When the crowds heard this, they were astonished at his teaching. But when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered themselves together. One of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and foremost commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend the whole law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question. What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, the son of David. He said to them, Then how does David in the spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies beneath your feet. If David then calls him Lord, how is he his son? No one was able to answer him a word, nor did anyone dare from that day on to ask him another question. The Justice and Kindness Daily Reading and Daily Devotional are a service to all those who seek to know God more fully and to have their mind renewed for Christ's sake. To help us continue this effort, please like and subscribe. And please consider a one-time or monthly gift. Go to glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. That's glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness, all one word.